Well, um, I live in Hyde Park. Well, this is actually the house that I grew up in. We lived here till I was about seven. And then, but my parents kept this house as a bit of an investment, insurance for if the children ever needed it. Mum and Dad said, well, live here, learn how to budget, how to save. And instead of paying rent, we're going to put it into a savings account for you. And that will build your deposit for a house. I remember playing out on the streets and all the friends I made, some of the adults that I remembered, the, you know, the parents of my friends are still here and I thought I get to ask them, oh, how's this person and, oh, they're all right, they stayed in Newcastle after uni and they've got a family now. And it's nice that that community spirit that I remember from being a child is still there. Well, living in Hyde Park especially, I love how close it is to town. Um, there are so many things to do. There's the museum, the library, um, there's the uh, sort of the, the dome um, just around the corner almost from us. You know, there's lakeside, we can go for a walk and a picnic on a nice day. We can walk to the bowling alley, we can walk to the cinema. Um, we don't need to go in the car or get a taxi or get the bus. It's just a easy access to everything. And there's just so many outdoor spaces that it's not all inside and looking at things or um, arcades or cinemas. There are places we can go where there's, there's nature, there's adventure. Um, and I think for, especially in the fundamental years of children, but as well for adults, that's so important. Um, something that I suppose is, is a bother to me because I don't drive as much is public transport. The amount of buses that are late or don't show up or, um, you know, you can, there's supposed to be a bus at this time and it comes either 10 minutes early or 10 minutes late. Um, or you're waiting half an hour and three buses come at once. And you just sort of think, why? <laughs> when people are thinking it's so much easier to get the car or a taxi because at least it arrives on time. Well, no, we want people to get the bus because that's greener. Um, you know, you see these posters in the bus station. Um, big little changes have a big effect and leave the car at home and get the bus one day. Well, I would if it showed up on time. Um, so I, I think Doncaster could focus on going greener. Um, solar panels on new buildings, um, renewable energy, recycling points. So you have a, a public dustbin and a, a recycling dustbin. Um, I think that could be a massive thing for Doncaster to focus on. And more than that, how can we make it normal in the future, say in 20 years time? It isn't a big deal that there's solar panels on the building, it's just normal. It isn't a big deal that there's a recycling bin next to a normal bin. And I think that's something Doncaster can work on um, and be a leading charge in. Um, that renewable energy and recycling and um, green, green areas and green spaces are just norm in Doncaster. <laughs>